All right, Tyler Orton with Business in Vancouver joining us now with a look at some of the stories making news today and uh, Kraft making a lot of waves today after they walked away from a multi-million dollar merger. Yeah, this deal would have actually been the third largest of its kind in history because the companies involved, Kraft Heinz and Unilever, they're just massive. Uh, some of the brands that say Kraft owns, uh, I mean, we're all familiar with Kraft Dinner, what have you, but think about Unilever. It's known for Dove, as well as owners of Ben & Jerry's, as well as Lipton Tea. So these guys, I, I could go on for another five minutes, but I won't do that. Mm -hmm. But essentially what happened is Kraft came in, they wanted a friendly takeover deal worth $143 billion US dollars here and Unilever said no we're not interested in a friendly takeover and it's kind of surprising that uh, Kraft didn't push further because Unilever's shares aren't doing so well just over the past uh, few weeks since they released their financials Kraft could have probably done a hostile takeover in this situation but they walked away they said fine that's okay and a report from Reuters says that now they may be turning their attention to a smaller competitor in this instance that's Mondela's it's actually a spin-off from Kraft from back in 2012 but they're the makers of Oreos so at this mm. point Kraft is interested in acquiring more companies uh, going forward. It's just a matter of who's going to be their next target. Interesting. All right. And uh, Bill Gates uh, making news this morning because he's targeting robots um, and talking about automation. Explain to us what he's suggesting. Yeah, he's actually advocating now for this so-called robot tax in which if a automated service uh, displaces a human from, say, a factory job, that service, that robot, is going to have to pay taxes on whatever is displaced there. If uh, a factory worker is making $50,000 a year, then they're going to have to uh, make it up with, the company's going to have to make it up with, say, income taxes uh, that would go towards that. So the interesting thing here, though, is this is actually brought up in the story from Quartz that uh, interviewed uh, Bill Gates. And it's saying, well, this would be a disincentive for innovation. And Bill Gates didn't actually have any uh, answer as to what that could come in place uh, with regards to these disincentives. But the interesting thing here is he says it's not up to private businesses to do it. It's actually the government that has to take an active role in this particular situation or else we're going to have a lot more job losses in the automated uh, services. Uh, like I said, the factory workers especially have been hard hit over the last 20 years due to automation, not because Donald Trump is saying, you know, jobs going to China. It's really automation that's been the uh, the main focus here. Absolutely. And it's, it's kind of interesting that the message is coming from Bill Gates, uh, the person who has been at the head of so much much innovation. Oh, absolutely, because it, it, it would act as a disincentive for this, and it's surprising to say that he even admits, yes, this would slow innovation down, but maybe there's just something that has to be worth it here if we're talking about jobs. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, all great questions. Tyler, thanks for being with us. Thank you, Sonia.